All right, so we're gonna pick up from where we somewhat left off. The project is currently serving and uh, my browser has opened. So I am gonna go to the live website and I'm gonna show you now that it is showing that install button. So we should see right here. There we go. So install. So you can click on this and install this on Windows. It it should pop up differently on Android. For now, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, but the development server is still running, so it hasn't fully finished yet. So we are at 68%. So in the meantime, I am going to head over to Beautify. Uh, beautifyjs.org. Well, not org actually. This is .com. And there's a couple of things that I'll change. So while that loads, I am going to get rid of. I think I want to change this. I might leave the the, the fav icon for now and get rid of all of the content that is on the home screen there. All right, so first of all, I want to get rid of this that, uh, Beautify logo, get rid of this component here. Um, I could put home here now. I'll get rid of all of this and uh, everything here. So before, just before I save that in the app, that view. I will get rid of yeah. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. I don't want any of this in there, including the API call that I, that I made. So we can get rid of all of this. Oh no. And uh, get rid of these also. I'm gonna go ahead and save all. And when this has finished, it will automatically update. Now, in the meantime, let me just head over to Beautify site. And uh, go to get started. Now I actually do know how to code some of this stuff, but I guess I'm just a bit lazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy some of these components. I want a, a toolbar, well actually an app bar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of those. So the one that I want is, I think it's this dense, not this. I was thinking about this dense one here. It's a very simple toolbar, but I think this is way too small. Probably way too small. I'm just gonna get rid of the dense when I copy this thing. copy everything and here and instead of putting it right in the app 
I am going to create a component. And this I'm going to put in a folder called core. So all of the core stuff are, is going to go here. So I'm going to call it app header because obviously we know that header is a HTML element. So we cannot create that. So let me paste all of this code here. So this is our app header. And I'm going to configure it uh, a little bit later on. So we save that component and in our app. I am going to go ahead and import uh, app header from, and we were at asset slash well, component. Slash four well, components actually. And this is why I prefer to use uh, something like JetBrains WebStorm because it will actually would have actually uh, picked this up already. There we go. And uh, just you know, fully register this. It is our header. And just to use it now, I'm going to put it right here. So it is up header. And you can either close it like an HTML element and like a typical HTML element like that and pull it off. But I prefer to just have this one thing. So this shows me that this is definitely a component there. So save this. Let me see how far the loading has gone. All right, here we go. Uh, seems like we have an issue, but I'm going to open it in here. But we have an issue. I could, I could see where it is. It should be 8080. Here. Okay, I think this is it. Definitely is it. There should not be. It, it is not in assets. You can see that I went into the wrong folder there. Let me just save this. Here we go. So it's now good. All right, so we have a new header, and I think it's probably a little bit too uh, large, probably. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this. I also would prefer, um, I'm gonna go for a deep blue. I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna work with that color scheme on the side. I want to change well yeah i'm going to change it i'm not going to keep up the scheme actually but for now we're going to work with that you can see that it doesn't give me what i want but we have this thing here so i might let me see if i have any color Unfortunately, I don't have any color plugin, so I'm going to leave it as. Or I could head over back to the Beautify website. Close this. And uh, let me see. I'm going to look for one of these that, that like, has color that I like but I'm not really seeing any of them let me 
there's really nothing. I'm looking at the bar. I see this color. One of all primary. I really don't know why I'm actually doing this because I'm not gonna keep this color scheme, so I don't know why I'm actually looking for for these colors. I may just leave. It. I think I'm probably just gonna leave it in the dark color that it already has. So, Frank, which is I'm just gonna remove this. If it has dark, we're gonna change the name here to uh, FVP tutorial until I find a better name. What else do we want to get rid of? Art. We don't need this art and this icon here. So we're gonna get rid of those. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna put uh, a button here. So I'm gonna put a box in, but I don't. Well, actually, MD sign in. So this will be my sign in. Which one do I put first? Sign up or sign in? All right, I'm gonna put sign in first. Sign in, sign up. Well, I don't think there's a sign up icon. Not that I remember. But for now. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So I'm gonna say sign in, and that's what will go for the, the buttons there. This I may just leave it for now. I don't know what kind of structure I'm gonna keep with the, the, the buttons if it's going to. Well, actually, I'm gonna make it flat and uh, well, art text base well for now let's just leave it as is and then we can look at it and see what it is and we can make changes but for now I just want to add some content and get rid of the the view well not the view I should say just get rid of some of the stuff well the view the file logos and stuff like that so we have a button here but it's an icon button so let's remove that there because this is not the way that we add icons so button but for oh, that for now because I'm not even gonna stress myself about over that. These are gonna bulk out and that's why I want to keep them flat because I don't like those bulk buttons. I'm gonna keep them flat and uh, right now I don't I'm not hundred percent sure if flat actually works or if it's tiled. We go so we have two buttons here they do not they, they want some space but for now I'm just gonna leave them and add a sign in form so right here I'm gonna do this component but I'm just not ready yet um, I'm gonna put this on the home slash Well, probably should create the register first. Register. I'm gonna create both of them. Did I put it in here? Let's put these here. And uh, signing up view. And I am going to cheat once again and uh, all right so I am going to already get started and uh, 
three made layout. So I'm gonna go and find those. Because I am lazy. pre-made layouts and there was a login form that Mr. Leader created and I am going to go for the code it doesn't seem like they have the code anymore here let me see on, on here Here we go. So now we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this because I know what what it looks like, and I'm gonna paste it right here. Well, actually, I need to put this in a template tag, and also I'm gonna put a wrapping div with a class of shining. So I don't know why that's not working now. And paste the code here. And just format it a bit. Well, actually, it already has a wrapping div, so let me just paste this. It does have a wrapping div. It seems to already have one, yeah. Call app. And uh, I'm gonna do the same for the registration. Here and uh, there's only one thing is that we're going to add some stuff, some additional stuff to the registration page. So I am going to create a view called register. And uh, I probably should not have created the components. The components So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back here and just cut everything. The reason why I put the sign in as a component is because I'm gonna have it on the, the home. So I'm gonna import it in the home component here. So this component, I'm gonna import it right here. So, and I name, I think I may have named this incorrectly. I think the standard is that you create you have them uppercase so something like this so that's what I'm gonna do this this I can now delete and uh, where was I because I have to go you know a couple minutes. So we are on the home page. We are going to import the sign in component. Well, we just put it there. We're using it, so we're going to import it now. And uh, this is from where components slash home slash. I mean, I'm gonna put uh, these are. I don't think these are necessary, but I think ES linked the, the formatting thing that I have will scream at me, so I don't really want that. So that's why I'm just putting some of these stuff. 
I prefer the single quotes, but well, actually, in Nox, I use the single quote mostly, but in view, I, I think I use the double quotes. All right, so we have all of that. So we imported this. I'm going to structure it better. The registration page, there is something else that we need to add. So I'm going to just get this one more time. And this will be our confirm password. And uh, the name and the conf password. Our password comes a little better here. We could put a dash between it. That looks better. Lock. I'm gonna put this one to be outlined. So you may not realize some of the stuff that, that are going on now, but I don't know. I'm gonna save it so that you can actually see. But I need to register this view. So in the router in next.js, I am going to uh, copy here. And I do a lot of copy. Uh, don't judge me. It just makes me code a bit faster. I already know most of these stuff. This should not be named like this. This should be a capital letter. So this should be register. So when I go back to the router, and I only have a few seconds remaining or a few minutes remaining, so this should be register. And uh, I'm gonna change this to register not view. This is register. So this is for lazy loading and 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 stuff like that. So I'll talk about that when I actually have time. And uh, I do not need to import anything. So that's that. Okay. So please tell me that we're finished. I am going to save all. But I'm going to edit the registration page a little bit more because I want it to look like something that I actually want. All right, here we go. So it's obvious refreshing. Why not just refresh? In the meantime, while that refreshes, I to show you, so I'm just gonna wait. I, want, I actually want to show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm not seeing what I intended to see. However, let me just go to uh, register slash register. Oh, I actually, know why it's not gonna show. So let me just stop that. It's not gonna show. I forgot to put in the app that view this very important thing so this would be router view I forgot to put that why is it not why well, it's not closing so let me just go ahead and close that up just put, I I think I prefer to have it like this so you know that this is totally different. If it's something special, this is this is what loads all of these different views. So all of these views that we're creating, this is what loads it. So let me save that. There we go. Let's see. I'm not seeing the thing, but let me just go to register. There we go. So now you are actually seeing uh, this thing. I don't know why I'm not seeing it on the home page. Just weird. And I said it imported correct, imported it correctly. So okay, here we go. So it's actually there, just didn't load properly. But now we have a login form and a registration form. So I am going to just configure this a little bit, even though I'm, I'm a bit late. 
for another appointment. Uh, you can get rid of. Didn't I delete this thing? In here, the sign in. I'm gonna touch the sign in first. So I'm gonna change this to actually sign in with a dash. And uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm not gonna save it just yet. I think, no, I think that's fine. And back to the register view. We have a password, a password confirm. There is another field that I'm going to add. This here. What are the stuff that this I'm gonna change it to email. The name is going to be email. And uh, this is going to be email. And I think it text is it or email type. Um oh, I'm gonna leave it for text. How can I not remember this? That's just that's pretty fun. And here I am going to create a V row so this is a beautiful uh, component and uh, I'm gonna say V column and I want two of these and I can unfortunately I cannot duplicate this thing I wish I could duplicate it but what I want this to be is half and half so I'm gonna add a this is going to be the first name depending on if I change my mind because I'm actually thinking that it'll be much better to just have a, a full name and just cut it depending on, on uh, where we want to show the thing sometimes if you get what I'm saying like if I want to show the last name I just cut it or trim it using JavaScript obviously and if I want to show the first name or Whichever one I just cut it. So that use it just the same. This should show this should show in one line but separated uh, in a sense and just save it. Well actually I wanna save all. There's one thing that I should have changed and this is registration. Registration or register. I think I'm gonna put register. No, I prefer registration. And uh, I'm not gonna save it because I don't want it to update. I just want to show you before I do that I wanna let this go to the register page so that was in the app header and uh, can because it's a view this does it's a uh, this is a verify thing I can do some dynamic binding on this I'm gonna go to the name the name that I'm going to go to is the register this should be here or so this is it I'm not getting any good thing that's highlighting which is sad uh, this is how they recommend doing it like this or I'm gonna show you actually so if I go to router link you can see that they have like some other stuff so this is how they recommend doing it. So I just realized that I missed something. I was wondering why this looked naked. So here we go. That is it. That will bring us to the register page. And uh, again, there was one other thing that I wanted to do. But let me just save this, save all. And you can see the updated changes. Because it's auto reload. If I click on this, it goes to register. So we can see that it it does what it's supposed to do uh, correctly. But it's not showing the well it, it, because it's wrong. It should not be 
should not be user, it should actually be account. It should actually be account. Okay, it's been a while. That should actually be account. Save that. There we go. So now you're seeing it, it a whole lot better. There is, uh, I need to get rid of this because it's, it's an external link. So let me just go, go ahead and get rid of uh, that. This is it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to get that rid of that out of the signing page. And then there was one other thing that I need to get. And I will uh, be down here. And that is back over at Beautify. I am looking for an auto what was the name I'm looking again? Form autocomplete or was that called? I think it was an autocomplete. Some of these things I actually know them but I just prefer to get reinforced in a sense. I don't know. Not seeing like. Okay. I think I'm going to copy this one. So. I'm not going to have all of these here. Let me just copy that. Paste it right here after everything here and uh, I'm gonna need a code for for these I'm gonna change this up eventually this should be select uh, well I don't know yet but this should be where you check uh, select if you are a tutor or or a student I think I may be going well, yeah, this is what they that was in the, the, the wireframe. So I'm going to leave it for now. So, uh, I don't know, for, I guess tutor or student. And when they click on it, they should see drop down. So let me just go ahead and copy the JavaScript. Just to do this quicker because I need to go now. I'm gonna just copy everything here. We're not gonna need none of this, but well, most of this. But all right, this too much to this one here. I'm gonna delete most of this anyway, so whatever. Paste this, everything. I'm gonna get rid of pretty much everything here. And uh, change this to tutor and student. Probably gonna change the way that this is set up, but for now it's fine. I don't think we need search. Well, I'm gonna use select. Okay, so loading sign select. Well, let me just leave search. I'm gonna leave it for now. Well, it's already there. Sorry, Bob. Okay, so let's just save this and look at it in the well. Yeah. Save all. No, it's not updating. So I 
is not update here. Let's go ahead and have a, a different one. Kind of a little bit weird. Let me see the, what how it I think it's probably even best if I actually use something like this one because this one actually looks like it's in line with what we're actually doing. So you have the underlying thing with the drop down. So it's the third one. So this looks more in line. there okay future and uh, go and get the script for this I shall now go to get rid of all of these. Put this there. And uh, save. Okay. Save. Oh my, I'm doing actually the wrong thing. I'm actually doing totally the wrong thing but I do still think I want this uh, like uh, it, I'm actually in the wrong component I just realized but I do think I want it with the underlined again because of of what we're doing so I think I actually want it with the underlined it will just go in line with the rest of them I could change it around to a circle just uh, afterwards if anything, if I feel like I don't like that or with additional advice. So right here and uh, save all. There we go. So now we have this. Uh, your uh, tutor or whatever so that is pretty amazing there is only one thing is that we don't have any icon do I want to put an icon there no I have to go so thank you very much for watching this video uh, and I'll see you in the next one